Okay, can everybody hear me? So I thought once again that my Verizon issues were resolved. They're not. I don't know what's going to happen here today. Every day for the last week they've been in my apartment and every day they leave. And every day we think it's fixed. And last night I thought it was because they actually said they didn't hook it up somehow right my router with the main office when the installation was set up in November. So I said, okay, that made sense. I said, this is going to do it. This is going to do it. No, I have terrible upload and download speed this morning. I have internet. I am here. I've got Zoom up. We're here. I don't know how long it's going to last and I have to call them again and it just continues. So I'm going to try to stay focused here. We do have a nice gap in AAL. It's very slow moving, very, 30 cents, 50 cents, the most out of this. And we're just going to do this and get out. So there's a FOMC minutes today at two. The market's up, but it may not hold that. So let's just stay away from anything related to the market today and try to do this. And it's not going to wait for us. Crap. <sighs> I was going to say 1350 target and it's going there. Wow. Well, just gotta wait. Okay, let's do sixty by ninety five. Sixty by ninety five. There, do it right now. 95, 95, put this top in it, 95. I don't, I'll look at that later, Jackie, I like this. And Amazon's gonna go with the market today. So, 95 is my stop in this if you want it. You gotta be in it. In fact, we got to watch 13, 1330, 1325. I mean, again, this doesn't have huge, huge, huge Megalodon moves. We're lucky we're getting this here today. Again, market is up. We'll talk about that later. I just can't believe my internet isn't fixed. I mean, I just cannot believe after screaming at them yesterday, they finally admitted that they never hooked it up right from the initial installation, and I thought that was it. I really thought that was it. It's not fixed. And I shouldn't have to scream at them either. Thirteen forty, thirteen thirty, thirteen twenty five. We gotta watch every number. I'm not talking right now, Jeff. I'm talking right now, but I, I, I'm probably talking low volume. So I'm not talking loud today. Okay, 51's the low. Let's look at the market quick. Should 
So the market thinks that the Fed is going to stop raising rates and lower rates after the data today. I don't think that's the case. And I'm not sure if we're going to know anymore at 2 o'clock because that's a pre-planned speech at 2. But that's why we're up. And we have high, high inflation, bad news. Mark it up. See how it, the economy, what, ha what happens with the economy does, does not go with the market. Market is up on negative news today. The prices are up. Not up as much as they thought, but up enough that they think the Fed's going to lower rates this year. It's a crazy world we live in. 1351. world. Here we go, 1351. One more push, we're gonna be out of this. One more push, we're gonna be out of this. And we tippy toe tomorrow, and then Friday's a big day. Friday's a big day. Get out quick. If I can. See? Do you see that? Circle, circle, circle. Um, this is not holding up as well as I thought it would. Wow. That's interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we're waiting this AAL out. Market's backing up a little bit. Q's look like crap though, in all honesty. Tesla's falling. Banks are trying to rally. Spy's trying to ho hold on. Again, not what you'd say is some fabulous, fabulous, fabulous bullish market that you'd want to go long, everything in the world. In fact, we did some longs the other week in the market. I didn't feel any reason to do them today. So these are crappy, crappy, crappy. So we're lucky we have this little guy here. We're really lucky we can get out soon and I can call Verizon every day like I do. Just call them every day of my life. Just call them every day.
Yeah, and if I wanted to be aggressive, I'd add in here, but I just don't. I just don't want to be aggressive today. I don't think we should be aggressive until earnings season. I don't want to do it. But if you want to add right here, you can add right here at 60. You could. I'm not going to do that, though. So here's the market failing. Failing. Test the failing. It's got a long way to go, but it can do it. Spy starting to fail. You see how this market just sucks everybody in and then nobody knows what to do. Just sucks people in. Sucks in the long, sucks in the shorts. I'll be happy if I can get 25, 30 cents out of this. It's a tiny one. Um, yeah, I'll look at Amazon. If I can load up the data with my internet issues. Look at this. Is everybody here? Do I have connection? Talk to me. Gary said yes. So we're in AAL, stop is 1395. We have the market in our favor now, moving in our direction. That should help this. Glad we didn't go long today. So happy we didn't go long today. I can reset it. You don't have charts, I can reset it. We're in AAL, short. Again, in a normal market environment, I would look at a gap up and I'm just going to say the SPY, even Tesla, okay, which we shorted the other day. And I would say, this is a good bullish gap. Let's go long. In the SPY and Tesla and a couple other things I looked at this morning. In a normal market environment, I would have conviction in the gap. I would have confidence in the gap up. I would, we would get the rally. We would go like gangbusters up. You know, in a normal market environment, the market isn't doing that. It's just not doing it. We were lucky we had the couple of plays, the two or three plays we did the other the other week in, in options to the upside. And I'm not saying I'm never going long again, but I'm just saying I knew I knew not to do it today. I knew not to do it today. And I was just so glad I didn't do it because it, it would have lost. There's another big number out tomorrow morning. Banks Friday morning. FOMC minutes at two. Thing after thing after thing after thing. This market is hanging on by a thread. That's the best way to describe it. But it's been hanging on by a thread for weeks. So it could hang on by a thread for another week's. A couple of weeks. So AL is fine. It's not doing anything wrong. It's a snail. You could even lower the shop if you want to. I said you could add if you want to. I do not want to be aggressive today. We're lucky we got this. We'd be doing nothing if we didn't have this. Because we wouldn't be shorting the market. And we certainly can't go long. So 
So that is that. And Amazon, I'm not interested in that today. We're lucky we even found that late. That was Jackie's pick, late fine. But yesterday was very difficult with the internet. And today I, I thought I was going to be okay. We're here right now, though. So we're, it's touch and go every minute. I don't know what I have to do or say to these people to get it fixed. They finally believed me yesterday that something was wrong in the back end, but it's obviously not still not fixed, so. This is a snail, a snail with a lot of volume though. I'll give it that. The longer it takes to go, the bigger the move it'll make under the low. Just wish it would do it fast. 9.45, and again, we have the market with us. Is there anything else we can look at? Not that I'm doing anything else. Not that I wanna do anything else, but, 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 but. Any questions while we're waiting for this to go? So what, what is gonna happen Friday morning? I don't know. I have no idea how these banks are gonna report. And even if they have a good report, they could have a negative reaction. Just like if they have a bad earnings report, they could have a positive reaction. Just like you saw the market have a positive reaction this morning in the gap up and a negative reaction today in the day based on the data. So they don't always coincide. So I have no idea what they do but you do remember last earnings season the banks really didn't do anything significant on earnings if you remember we were like oh this is a waste of our time that was sort of a precursor looking back now to what happened then several months later when you think about it remember we were we were like this is these are earnings like they were nothing burgers i don't know if anyone remembers that you can't even go in a chart and look in a chart and tell me where Goldman's earnings are. You can't find the gap. You can't find the date. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but I do. Here we go, AL. It's a snail, but it's a good snail. You do? Anyone ever eat snails? Escargot. I never had it, but there's a French restaurant. I never had caviar either. And I'm like, if I'm gonna try caviar ever, I should try it at this French restaurant. It's a really good French restaurant. I'm like, if I'm gonna try caviar anything, anytime, I should try it here. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I, I love fish, but I like the, the idea of eating something raw. I don't know. But people eat snails too. That's a French delicacy, and I've never had them either. Here we go. A A L. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Sushi, I don't like. Tried it before, don't like it unless it's cooked. Don't like it unless it's cooked. Here we go. I did get this French chocolate. They made these chocolate eggs for Easter. Here we go, AAL, boom. It was, the chocolate was delicious. The chocolate was so delicious. They made these big eggs and then they filled them with candies and all the candies inside were homemade. I mean, it was, it was like delicious. I still didn't, I still didn't even, even eat more than half of it I have left. Okay, you can be out of this. You can be out of this if you want this. It's a snail. We're trying to squeeze more out. That's all we can do today. Netflix is a bust. I don't want to move off of this because this is going to go. And my computer is also a bust. I shouldn't say my computer, my internet. I feel like I'm living in a third world country. Am I on an island in the Pacific Ocean right now? Why can't I get internet? I actually called the manager of the building. I said, who has Verizon? What is the main cable service provider in this building? He said, it's Verizon. I said, okay, then what's the problem? No pot smells, you're right, Jackie, but I need internet to, to work, to train, to function, to do classes. I'm class this weekend. I need internet. 
The Verizon lady actually said that. And I'm like, I have no internet. This is, you know, and she's like, but look at your view. And I'm like, what does one have to do with the other? I'm paying you for your service. It's funny. It's ironic. We just talked about this when we were talking about customer service the other week, how customer service in general across the board at large corporations has gone downhill. The fact that I'm arguing with people, one of the guys on the phone was giving me attitude. He was giving me attitude. I just, I just said to the guy, I am angry. My service isn't working. Stop giving me attitude. Are you going to help me or not? I mean, this is like, because if not, I'm hanging up. It's like, really? You can't have everything, yeah. <laughs> you can't have internet and a view and no pot and chocolate. Here we go. A A L A A L A A A A A A L. The roll continues. Yesterday was a flub because of the internet issues, but I was determined to trade today with five megabits of speed. <laughs> Here we go. A A L. One megabit, two megabit, three megabit. Here we go. We're trying to get this under 1340 and then we'll see. Who knows? This could go to 13 today. I don't see myself in it till then. I don't see myself in it till then at all. But we're getting it down. Forty. Here we go. Woo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is it. Come on, Bootsy. Crap. Did anybody get out? 36. Ah, crap. Every penny counts here because this is such a small target. I didn't get out. Jackie got out. Damn it. I should have. Here. Do not want this to back up to 1350 something. Falling. We're on the right side of things with this market. I've been, I'm in some options. We're on the right side of things. The week is still a question mark. Here we go. A A L. I'm gonna have to be out of this soon though. One more chance to break in here. One more chance to break. in front of it is good enough. I don't want it to bounce up to 1350 and change. This is good enough. I said 25 cents. Clo close enough. Clo close enough. I can't sit through a rally up to 1350 
it just doesn't make any sense for 10 more cents or five more cents. But if you're still in it, what you could do, you could put a stop at 1350, but you know, I think this could go to 13 today. I really think it could. If you've got the patience, if you got the stamina, if it could wait it out, why? The market. So let me just look at one thing here and then we'll get situated.